Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Wasubi Week continues. How are we doing, Wasubi? Hell yeah. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm very happy to showcase some decks. So thanks for having me, man. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're we've been we've been running the snapshot uh, precision strike four four stars, right? Um. So this one is actually going to be like four point twenty five, I believe. Yeah. Which it's... is basically right up there with Shield Ball as the two best decks. Yeah, it it works out really well. Um, mm -hmm. uh, some of the considerations that the guys are going for are uh, Shiru and taking out Professional, correct? Yeah. So, like, the thing is, you have this Curse of Corruption, right? So it's a simple switch. You could switch the Curse of Corruption for Shiru, but then your leader pings suddenly become, you know, you only have three, so and you also have to get the Sentinels out. Right. So then the professional kind of gets awkward, right? So the best change you can make if you want to throw in Shiru is just get rid of the pro, get rid of the A rush, and you can put in Shiru and Danka, basically. Yeah. That's like an easy. And you still keep the toll removal in Curse of Corruption. So. Gravish, not a fan right. of Danka, though. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. He does it's, not it's, like. it's, it's okay. Like. On ladder, you can you can get away with a lot. You can even like boost her right with if you, circle. Or... Yeah, I was gonna say if you go, um, Dunka, you probably switch this over to um, TA, TA. Yeah, yeah, because she just yeah, dies just to just, an oil. just be careful, like <laughs> yeah, you know, Manticore and and Geralt friends. Yeah, uh, but I mean, if they do heat wave her, you're not too sad about it because you know you've got. Sheldon and Gord, which are really big units, mm -hmm. so it's not like just be careful not to lose on even, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and and, and once again, it's another deck where the bricks are super real, so you yeah. know, don't get too wild if you know if you you. I mean, you always want to try to fish for that a Nero, but you know, if you don't have it and you do have Justice in hand, you know, just just pump the brakes because if you start doing all these mulligans you're going to be sad that you're, you're all your yeah. carryover is going to be in hand and it's going to suck so don't mm -hmm. do that but um also like the deck is very reactive right yeah it's... so can be an issue in some matchups you you have to keep some proactivity for round three you know mm -hmm. i know that it's very like tempting to play all of your pyrotechnicians and agitators in round one but you know sometimes you have to think about like what am I doing in round three? How many proactive plays do I have in case my opponent starts playing specials as well, right? Right. So, yeah, yeah, it, it's, it, it's it's rough. It really the the list really reminds me of just like uh, like in Slave, you know, you just have like yeah. all these things you're chucking their way, and you're not really putting anything on the board. But it's like they um, have to come up with something that you can't answer. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, it, and then you have like these big big finishers for yourself. So yeah, yeah, it's, the... it it usually works out. Like I said, it's a really good deck, but the bricks and the way that it's so reactive kind of make it difficult to pilot. So you need to learn your matchups and you know, yeah, be careful with the temperings and adrenaline rushes when you don't have any targets for them because you played all of your units already. So right, and then people are probably gonna ask too, like if you're playing the the Shiru, why don't you go like uh, Fav and Council? It's just too expensive, right? It's just right. Yeah, it's it's not worth it. You're better off just to. It's at yeah, least like... in this list, you know what I mean. You, I, I think you, you, if you draw it, cool. If you don't, you're not too sad about it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean. You got well. The the nice thing is that you do have the all got to boost it, and even if if not, you still have like circle of lives. So the Shiru should always be at five, and like last patch, uh, Fove Council Council was fine, right? Because you would just farm Skellige. Right. Basically, like, if you get the Shiru, you win against Skellige's Smile. <laughs> right. But, you know, this, this patch, they're nowhere to be found. Yeah. Poor bastards. So, not really... Can't really afford to waste so many provisions when you're going against, let's say, monsters, right? It's just... They roll right over you. Yeah. And if you do start running into, like... Because one of these games here, you'll see we run into Swarm. And it, uh, it, it gets kind of rough, so... You know, mm -hmm. if you keep running into that like wide package, you know, you might want to switch it up to Shiru. So exactly, yeah. But if you're that's, running that's into the only the, thing. 
if you're running into right. the shield walls and stuff, you know, this is the this oh, owns just shield. Like crushes shield wall. Like the other day, I had a game where I won round three, like 30 points to zero. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he and he did play all of his cards. I, you just kill everything. It's yeah. it's really easy. Yeah, yeah. It's just. But it, it, it is, as you're saying, it is it is like uh, quite weak to the to the swarm package. So yeah, that, that's that's the downside of this deck for sure. Yeah. That and the bricks yeah. and uh, you know yes. the reactive playstyle. Yeah. So but once you get the hang of it, I it's really easy to climb with. I feel like. Yeah, even and the congregation matchup isn't too bad because if they go too tall with the heat wave, you, with the knight, you can win on even maybe with heat mm -hmm. wave. So you have an out in that matchup, but the other ones like in the game you'll see here it. Uh, it yeah, it mostly gets mostly just up. the monster shenanigans are a problem, honestly. Yeah, congregation is fine because they don't really have like toll removal, right. so your units go unpunished, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But uh, here's a couple games, uh, a mini blooper, I guess, at the end here. Um, it, it was, <laughs> it, it was. I thought it was kind of funny, so we'll put that one at the end. But thank you guys so much for everything, and Mr. Wasubi, thank you, thank you, sir. We appreciate you a lot, man. Always a pleasure, man. A meta report should be out. Yeah, by the time uh, this Friday, comes right? Out. Yeah, this yeah. this will probably be out on Saturday, so. All right. Um, should then be, it's out already. So go, <laughs> go, go import it at the uh, the snapshot. So you're good on that. But here's a couple games. We'll see at the end. Because oh if, my God, if we keep getting these swarm oh. matchups. What the... <laughs> yeah. Because like the thing is, um, when you're playing both pro and shiru, your pings are a bit awkward, weird. You only have three, so. Mm. Do we keep one or? Yeah, we kind of have to. I I would mull one of these circles for sure. It's too slow. Well, All right. Now we, we can mull the mull, the mull. Now we can mull well, the volunteer. We don't have the oniromancy or justice, oh. right? So it's a bit uh, maybe maybe tempering and just spray. You don't break sentinel or volunteer. Yep, oh. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, so we just start out with the agitator or do we start out yeah. with all yeah. god uh, you can go agitator if if he survives you can play volunteers right away it's uh, pretty decent yeah that's a rough one yeah no it's, Nero, uh... no curse haunt off I, the I, bat too. oh yeah he so he has haunt as like his round one uh, smork, and then then he just plays some kind of swarm, right? Or maybe even no unit bullshit. Do we even go into? I I, I think you airage the the agitator and flip the lamp probably. In case he has something stupid like a dive, I don't know. We have eight points coming in. Well, he's gonna play the. Oof. Oh, he plays Foglet. Okay. Yeah, I. I'm pretty sure we're just losing on even. Can't really do much about Haunt. Okay, maybe there's a world in which. Should we pro there's... that? Yeah, I'm wondering. Like, it's probably better to pro it after he consumes something else. I'm not sure. Just using a leader ping. So if we pro this, it's 12 points. And then he only needs an 11. He has the... He gets 5 from the... Yeah. So he needs 6. He eats it, he and gets also, it automatically. Oh, if, if, if we pro Goliath, he's actually pulling Forest Protector, right? That's really bad. Uh... Yeah, I guess we just pro it, and then we can try to... Let's get this over with. Play the the volunteers. But I don't think we're getting out if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah, too many bricks. The ju not having well, the ju not having the justice don't give you the tempo. Yeah, yeah. Justice would have been enough for sure. I shall never but, uh, be alone again. It's fine. It is what it is. Yeah. 
He doesn't eat it, so do we just... I, th I think Becker's, yeah, yeah. Seems fine to me. That seemed greedy. Yeah. So now, if he has like Yigherin, we pretty much lose on even guaranteed, so we just play all god and pass. But if he plays something slower, we can potentially just play volunteers, right? Oh, those uh, don't even spawn on that road, do they? They only he loses well, one. They 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 do. He lost he, one he point gets, there. Yeah. So we play all god. Mm. If you go volunteers, that's eight. Ah. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe just play for carryover. I think we're losing on even no matter what, pretty much. So we might as well pass on eight. So a sentinel, a uh -huh. volunteer, and volunteer, and probably I don't know protector. Sure. Yeah. Maybe pyrotech was fine as well, but so now the volunteers play for ten actually. Which, uh... Oh, it gets there by one point. Yeah, that's alright, actually. Still think we play the Volunteers, just try to get out. Looks like, uh... Pointless battle, but... You never know. So he plays a... Bargast plays for nine. That's a tie. He could leader charge. He always has the reach with like leader charges, right? Yeah. I think it's pretty pointless to like try to do math. <laughs> Queen. Yeah, this is even worse. Okay. So at this point we could just tampering and then circle of life and then give him the round, right? Yeah, seems alright. Mm. He if doesn't he have room in the back row for Triss. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. <laughs> if he's eight. like that. Alright, so one circle is out. Could probably just pass now, right? Yeah, seems fine. Uh, not circle. What am I? Talisman, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's, so it's like, uh, the, the, it's exactly the case again, like... If you had Shiru, you're kind of happy, but you don't, so it's like... <laughs> you just sit back and... Yeah, back and forth, constantly. Okay. This Could is... use a unit, that's good. Uh, maybe the tempering is a bit iffy. Double. All right, that's that's not bad. Now he's gonna bleed. Yep. It's so good. So he plays. Uh... It's final time, baby. So I actually missed heat wave. It's kind of sad. No, we got heat wave. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But what do we do with this? <laughs> right. So we just mm. pyro now and sure, sure. A wee hint. Pyro, the maybe like list. ping two of those. Uh, he has leader, anyways, right? Yeah, but I guess we can get him out. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> <laughs> he just keeps him coming. So we yeah, ping the back he... row one. Hmm. I, I don't. I don't think it matters, right? Like we just play the other pyrotech, I guess. Uh. Do we leader ability too? Hmm. Uh, sure. Have you seen a fuse lying about? Then the sentinels. Just uh. 
yeah. ha hang on to the charge. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Don't have to use it. So now we get to play the circle. Problem is if he forces our entire hand. So he lusties now? No, I, th I think he just plays talismans, right? Oh. Or yeah, yeah. It's like uh, smork, smork. You the wrong sorceress. Okay. So we can circle one of those, or do we want to like keep card advantage? Uh, I think it's okay if we. Yeah, circle is fine. Because if he gives up uh, on this board... We use both of them, right? You can, yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, you're getting value. Oh, we should have used them first, by the way, just in case we hit the end, but... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Wow, he actually... Okay, okay. Interesting. I didn't think he would pass. So we just play the so, gourd? So Sheldon is 14 and the gourd is what? 7. Oh, so it's a 10, huh? What we have? No, it's another... a 7. It's four. It's only boost 4. Oh, okay. So we might as well just play it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't really gotten to play too many spells. I don't well, know. fortunately, like you used all the leader. I think that's... Good. Yeah, but like this heat wave shouldn't be... Very good, I don't think. I think he's gonna have a uh, oh curse. Yeah. But we have too no. Much, too much. Oh my god. <laughs> so we yeah, drop rebuke, rebuke for sure. Okay. And then maybe the curse. Like this entire hand, we need the forest protector. Oh, and justice is dead. Or or justice. Oh no, it's not dead, huh? It's not dead. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. So we can on Neuromancy for the justice, right? It's perfect. Yeah. There is hope. <laughs> it's slim, but I mean, it, it just depends, like, if we find value with this removal, right? If we do, then I think he's gonna have the what's it called too. The Oh, oh, we heat wave that, huh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that is just not allowed. <laughs> he's definitely gonna have some kind of a consume, and then he's gonna have another talisman or something. Uh, has he played Triss already? I think he only played Yen, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So he he might have like a set Triss because he played both of his nests in round two. Right. So. But yeah, all of these cards, we have two reactive cards. Protector can be like uh, tempering, right? Yeah. So, what so. is this? Okay. Can't really... Uh, but he's gonna consume it next, right? So that's good. I think you just go protector, back row, temper the agitator or something. Could also... Think about circle. Eh, are we gonna get value from like this? Sheldon is too big already, right? Right. Yeah, I think he just. Uh, it's the same points anyway. I think you take the tap ring. Right. Unless he has a predatory dive, and then we're really sick in the head. Yeah, I think it's okay. Sheldon is already hitting for six. And if he consumes, ah, uh, maybe, maybe the circle was... Oh, it's a Cyclops. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we get the death blow on it, right? Mm-hmm, that's very nice. Place for six, basically. And now, give Daddy a target, come on. I think he beats us by, like, four if he has just Glusty and... Well... I, I don't think this deck plays is Glusty, to be honest. I think it's go wide and boost instead of go wide and consume. I feel like with the Glusty where we're putting too many eggs in the... Please don't have toll removal basket, right? 
temporary. Ooh. All right. He gave Daddy a target. Very nice of him. See, we get exactly a six to hit. Right. Nice. So he needs 25. Uh, Two cards. So he has Yghern and something else. Double us, say. Geralt is... Alice, okay. Man. That's and a three. Super <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so he... He, sh he just shouldn't have bled. Right. Well, yeah. And we also, we, we just drew like garbage in round one, right? Yeah. That was the biggest problem for us, but yeah. But. Satan loves us all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta friend this guy. Uh... So, would he drop both volunteers? Mm hmm. I mean, we do have the justice on the on the era, so Gord as well, right? right. Don't want any of that. Okay. No dwarf for the agitator. Big sad, but I mean, it's not that terrible. Um, so we can just start with all Chad, right? Boost Sentinels and Sheldon. Back row, huh? Uh, mm-hmm. It's probably our adrenaline rush target. Oh, do we boost them? Uh, just all the carryover, I think. Sheldon and Sentinels. Yeah. Okay. No need to get creative. Assimilate. So, I'm wondering, like, to what extent can we control his engines, really? Oh, well, we got nature's rebuke. Well, the thing is, like, nah, he's just making our lives much easier, right? Right. Because Portal is essentially the only threat. <laughs> okay, so we can a rush the the Chad himself, and then we just play uh, Justice, right, and get out. I think. Yeah. Does he want a double portal? Is this a double portal shit with a seer? No, not sure, not sure. But I mean, yeah, now we just get 18 points and we get it. out. So we we're a Nero in the... Mm -hmm. Get our thinning done. Seems fine. Next time it'll be personal. Suck, suck, suck. <laughs> Leave it to us. And yeah, we probably can get away with playing some of these specials as well. Ah, uh, depends, depends. The runestone. Yeah, creates. I suppose we can definitely play the tempering, right? Oof, that was lucky. Ooh, that's a talented creator. sir. <laughs> Do we just take it out? With the could be, yeah, we could rebuke that, sure. Yep. I think we can get away with rebuke and tempering. I mean, he does have three engines. So at some point, if he goes like Vigo into Informant on the muscle, he's creating three cards. So we have to be careful, right? Yeah. We definitely have to be careful. No, wait a so Vigo, okay, so we're up 15, Vigo Brigades would do it, but I mean, what are the odds? That gets okay. him ahead. So, okay, so Vigo creates a informant into muscle, which is like double proc. Mm -hmm. So he's getting six. Uh, 6 plus 10, 9, 14. Yeah, it's fine. We can actually get away with the tempering. Yeah, yeah. That's quite funny. It's enough by one, right? Oh. Yeah. I think it's just like the usual... Uh... So now we get out, huh? 
What about professional on that uh, dwarf, huh? Round control is pretty good, I reckon. Give him a smash, huh? Mm hmm. And, like, here's the thing, right? If he wants to catch up, he needs to play the likes of Vigo and Bradens, right? Yeah, pretty much. And, and that's, like, super good for us because that's, like, his main source of points. Yeah, he's just uh, slow rolling it now. So I think it's okay to play uh, play the rock slide even on the 7, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It's just one more point, right? Yeah. So now he can, like, leader. Does he want a leader? The... Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if he decides to... Uh... <laughs> Go, go ham, huh? Go. Okay, yeah, so we get the round, perfect. Uh, now we just hopefully kill everything and still have a lot of removal cards. I'm pretty sure we just kill everything and win. Like, that's how it usually goes against engine decks. Proactivity is nice. Circle though, how good is circle? Could just mulligan the circle, I think. Yeah. Sentinel, obviously. Perfect, yeah. So just, just repeat. No need to uh... press the issue. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean. Oh, watch him get all special. Nice, Ted up. <laughs> Wait, can that actually happen? What are the odds? <laughs> There's three, I think each faction has three, right? Uh -huh. Three or four, I mean... So there's get... Rats, Caress, right? There's Tampering. Rebuke. Rebuke, yeah. Circle. <laughs> yes. It can happen. Okay, um, so we do have Sheldon. What are we missing in this head anyway? What's in the deck still? We on Neuromancy for Gord. This is it. Yeah, kind of, kind of, I think this is good. We don't really need the circles, I don't think. This is good, yeah. I think it's like just enough removal and like not too much, you know what I mean? Like we have right. three proactive plays. I think it's, this is great. This head should just win, honestly, most of the time. Yeah, we got both rebukes, which is huge. Yeah, so there's actually like five bronze uh, specials, right? Yeah. We're forgetting about Bele. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're like I said, they're there. There is no shame uh -huh. in fear. Do we just curse that now? Sure. Yep. It can get awkward with like Sheldon and stuff later, right? Yeah. My girl, uh, did he make her premium? He did not. Yeah. Oh. That's sad. <laughs> I love that card. Mm -hmm. One of these days they're going to put it on that disc plate. I'm going to get it. I mean, a simulate is not very far from being like competitive, right? Oh, no. Uh -oh. The main issue is like you lack uh, control. It's just like points, points, points. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. <laughs> oh, uh, no, you get no... He's not He's not getting any of these procs oh, or anything, way, yeah. So now he has to boost. Oh, I bet. That is a tragedy. <laughs> so now we just heat wave that and he gave us two points. Yes. He gave us three points. That... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, Heat dude. wave, right? That's... Yeah, that's... That, that's... That's an absolute tragedy. That was a oh, lot of no. a lot of points for wasted for nothing. Yeah, he ended up giving us three basically. Oh my god, I feel bad for the guy. Now it's ball time, huh? Yeah, but there's not gonna be any units to poison. You know what I mean? Right. We just rebuke this dame, and now what? <laughs> uh, then we're gonna play these three point agitators, right? Like. Yeah. Nice, nice ball, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's looking real sad. That's the thing with, like, 
these reactive decks against Nilfgaard when you have La say Mage Torture. These are already spied. I think we let it live actually. Could be our Sheldon target eventually anyways. Just keep boosting the Sheldon now, I suppose. We'll pay yeah. man by Makes sense, the right? Execution. Yeah. What if he hits us with the uh, Don Shilardo? Does he have a special for the no? For what? For the protector. Oh. Yeah, don't think he does. So on Neuromancy, well, we don't really have a choice. I think we have to give him a good leader. He goes circle. I will not mm -hmm. let this become a Tempering. second side. Tempering. So now he has a special for the for the okay. forest protector. I think it's okay to just keep boosting, right? Yeah, I wouldn't be worried. So like he goes, he can get leader on, on an Eromancy or just a uh, forest protector for 10 points, right? Well, not 10, it's it's double creates too, so it's way more than 10. Yeah. It's like 12 already. Ooh. So Wait, we play it now, huh? Wait a minute, what? I hate huh? Than a creaky door. But... We Sir, we play it now, right? Humans so he doesn't get it. Sure, but what's your target? Do we have a circle of life? Yeah. Uh, we don't. Agitator, he created one. Yeah, oh, oh, oh we didn't play one. one. I mean. No, all we have is rebukes and tempering. Uh. I guess we take the rebuke, right? It's fine. Play into poison eventually, anyway. Doesn't really matter. So he gets the Onir of NC, but. What does it matter, right? Maybe he doesn't have the. He should, he should. I, I think he's just holding off until we play a 7, literally, right? Now he's like, okay, now I have a poison target, so I can actually play my. Uh... Leader ability. Yeah, and the and the aristocrats to proc the ball. But I mean, this game is so incredibly over. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. uh, a taste of more there is indeed. Why is he not using the leader? Else. I wonder. Yeah, oh, there it is. Okay. So he takes on the romance. He gets into... a second uh, aristocrat. Oh yeah. Oh. oh Vigo. Okay, so that's what he was missing. Sure. Man, maybe we we're supposed You're to leader rebuke the uh, Glennis. Didn't expect him to go so tall in so many ways, I guess. Do I enjoy torture? Perhaps. Okay. A bit. So we can go with the pyro and we can kill these uh, engines, right? Like Ping the torture. Uh, kill the Vigo as well. So we go Vigo. I, I think it just killed the one health mage torture first. And then you just ping Vigo, then you ping something else, and you death blow the Vigo, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter too much. Maybe, maybe putting a 3 was not yeah. good because of the pyro, but it's okay. Yeah, I should have just pinged the 14. Mm hmm. Potentially. Vincent kills the agitator, kills the protector. Yeah, we should have killed the dame, right? Because now we could have killed the dame with Sheldon, actually. But it's okay. I think you could kill it. click the Pyrotech first, yeah. yeah. What do we hit? Doesn't matter, right? I don't think it matters. Yeah. And even if he has like Invocation or Bonhard or whatever, Vilgefortz into pulling our gourd. <laughs> oh, that's a right. right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Close. Close, close. 
Yeah. Not really, though. Yeah, getting the last save is huge. Yeah, last so what save. we could have done was just rebuke the Glynis, right? And then this Protector is dead as well. Uh, not Protector, the Mage Torture. Right. You know, the big one. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's the video for today, guys. Mr. Vesuvi, thanks for recording, sir. Um, yeah. Definitely. Control, uh, still decent. Yeah, non, the non Shiro version, I think, is the way to go. Um, unless you're mm -hmm. just running into all uh, Lippy. But. Yeah, you know. and again, it's like a super easy change to make, right? You just get rid of the Curse of Corruption, put in the Shiru, and then you have all gods to boost it, or like Circle of Life. Very true, very true. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time.